Westport's Heather Baggins is not your typical cult leader. So this is what we call the departure lounge. We don't know how it's going to happen, so we've prepared for everything. Everything from uh, floods, the rapture, to a viral outbreak or in anything. Candles, the matches, in case it's a locust, so we've got the fly spray. <coughs> this, this is just very important. <sighs> Chairs is installed, we'll put in a mop in case it's a wet one. These are our chairs. This one's Chaz's chair, this one's my chair. Sometimes Chaz sits in my chair, so I sit in his chair, but that one's his one. Paganists Heather and her husband Chaz believe today oh is their last day on Earth. Yeah. Really happy that the film crew's here. This is a very exciting, very exciting time. Very exciting. Oh, Chaz, you dumb c <laughs> Well. Three years ago, Chaz was making me bricky and I received a divine message on a piece of gluten-free toast. And well, this isn't the slice, it basically looked like this. 25, 5, 18, Ladoppy. Uh, what's that mean? Well, we knew it was a message from Pan. Peter Pan? Pan. Everyone knows Pan. Hey, hun. Huh? But it took these pagan cultists a while to decipher the message. Uh, I'd say it was a month, maybe a month and a half before we worked it out. The doppy, what does that mean? Is it an acronym? So, long drop off people's ears? Uh, laugh, don't orgasm properly every time. Um, oh, and then we got stuck on lonely dogs. Lonely dogs open pantries easily. Lonely dogs only poop eastward. Lonely dogs obviously prefer electronica. Well then we then... worked it out, didn't we? Last day on planet Earth. Heather and Chaz believe they had a duty to spread the word of Pan and the coming end of days. It's been a bit hard getting the message out there. Kids are so wrapped up in their phones these days. Oh, well, I don't know if it's their fault. <laughs> Chaz made some memes. And we've been doing recruitment YouTubes. We call ourselves the Ladoppy Gangers. Hashtag Ladoppy. At the end of the day, if they don't believe us, they'll be dead. So. Pan's message didn't specify a time of day. So Heather and Chaz want to be in their bunker well before midnight. Until then, they'll be tying up loose ends. I'm a bit excited about this. It's been a long time coming. Oh, hi. Is this Genevieve McDonald from Riverside High? It's Heather Baggins. It was me driving the car, and I'd do it again! Uh, yeah, I'm just wanting to cancel our subscription. Just put down... Rapture. If you can't fit it all in, then you're just going to have to leave some stuff out. Okay? Oh, alright. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright, uh, do your best. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Who's that? Oh, Hamilton the Doppelgangers. Bless them, they're trying. So, how are you feeling? It's a bit of an adventure. Got to support the wife, don't you? Can't argue with toast. As midnight approaches, Chaz and Heather bid the world oh, adieu. You've got to learn to fend for yourself now. Go, walkies, walkies. Dog. And so, in their Westport departure lounge, Heather and Chaz settled in. <sighs> nice and cosy. Oh my god, what is that? That's our spit bucket. Sorry. With a few hours to go, the couple kill time. Remember, that's your chair. That's your chair, too. Heather, over. Oh, yeah, let's try these out. How's it looking out there? What is the toxicity levels? Well, that's a big match. Good, good. Oh, oh, Chaz, it went out. No, it's not. Oh. You know, we've, we've got to save it. That's, we've got to save that. How long do you think we've got now? Oh. Oh. Good for them. Chaz, you dumb c-